There are many video tutorials available on the internet to teach you how to read piping isometric drawings. Although some of these videos are good, they lack the most essential basic techniques. My goal for this video is to teach you how to correctly read the drawing. Welcome to the technical studies. The first thing to do when you receive a drawing is to review the notes. The notes provide details about the units, welding methods, painting and coating instructions, weld types, and other specifications. The legend displays the item number, weld number, cut piece number, field weld number, and other details. Let's take a look at the bill of material list. In this list, you can find the mark number or item number, size, description, quantity, and other details. Now, let's look at the description for item number 1. It is a pipe with a bevel end, Schedule 10, Grade B, manufactured through submerged arc welding, SAW, with a quantity of 23.6 meters. And the pipe size is 16 inches. Item number 1, Cut Pipes. Let us check, what is item number 2? The description for item number 2 is an equal T, but weld, Schedule 10, ASDM A234 grade WPBW. The quantity is 3. What is the meaning of WPBW? There are two primary methods for pipe manufacturing, WPB and WPBW. In WPB, W represents weldable, P stands for pressure, and B denotes grade B, while in WPBW, the last W signifies welded. Item 3 refers to a 10-inch, 45-degree elbow, long radius, with a butt weld connection, Schedule 10, ASDMA, grade WPB. The quantity is two numbers. Now, let us explore other details in the drawing. Look at the legends. The oval shape represents the item number. The circular shape represents the weld number. The bracket symbol represents the pipe cut number. The X symbol stands for field fit weld. This is the continuation of sheet number 6 of this drawing number. This is the north, east, and center elevation of the pipe at this specific location. These symbols, shaped like arrows, mark the locations of the pipe supports. This triangular symbol represents the slope of the pipe. A ratio of 1 to 500 means that for every 1 meter of pipe length, there is a slope of 2 millimeters.
The shaded area represents rolling at this segment of the piping. The dashed lines, on either side of the dark line, indicate that the pipe is insulated. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment below. You can download the isometric drawing via the link in the description.